so I'll be speaking about cybersecurity, but really more accurately, I'll be talking about how we can talk about cybersecurity. As, as an industry, we've accepted, of course, that people are at the heart of cybersecurity just as much as technology. Technology does not attack technology by itself. There is, at least in 99% of the time, always a human being involved in one way or another. And moreover, we do not protect information for the sake of that information itself. When it comes to social engineering, I say that the right fish at the wrong time can catch any of us. It's easy for us to think, well, that would never happen to me. I would never just blindly trust an email apparently coming from my CEO. I would never click that link, transfer that money. But it's not true. We can all be manipulated. As human beings, we often don't take the time to actually analyze and think rationally whether to trust information or not. But when we do think through whether to trust a source or trust information, we go through certain steps. We think about whether um, that information is compatible with known information, information that we already believe in. How credible do we think the source is? Do other people that I know and trust believe it? This is why social media is so powerful when it comes to the spreading of misinformation and disinformation. Because often it is spread within our network by people we either know and trust who are unwittingly spreading it or by accounts that look like ones we favor. Every day that goes by, pretty much we hear about a new cyber attack, a new incident. So this can feel very overwhelming and many people can feel, well, the hackers have won. When I'm communicating with an audience, when I'm raising awareness about cybersecurity, I'm very conscious that I'm talking to people who have come into the room, maybe already with an elevated level of fear. They already feel emotional. And so when we're talking about something scary, particularly to people who maybe already feel anxious about this topic, we cannot focus on the threat. We must focus very much on what people can do to better protect themselves. We must make them aware of the threat, but decades of research in psychology has shown that we need to empower people by helping them understand what they can do to protect themselves. And this ties in with research in neuroscience that shows about 80% of people around the world are wired towards optimism in their personal lives. So we need to make cybersecurity accessible. We need to not just talk about the why, but the why me. We need to make sure we frame the messages so that people feel engaged, inspired, and empowered. And as part of this, it's about looking at the security culture that we have, the values that people have internally and in an organization, the perceptions that they have around cybersecurity, their levels of awareness, and how they behave, the behaviors that they practice, and the behaviors that they think are acceptable. We need to empower, educate, and engage people and focus on building up their self-efficacy, their confidence, their behaviors, rather than simply scaring them about the threat.